Here's Extra Next, and brought to you by Intralinx. Here's Kevin. Thank you very much, uh, Dennis, and good morning, everyone. Uh, Suzanne Kingma is here this morning to uh, talk about the big three-day Scotts Bluff Kennel Club show, and uh, it's coming up Easter weekend, and not this weekend, but the following um, one, and uh, it's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday affair, and you're looking forward to it, huh? Yes, we are, hoping the weather will cooperate. All right. I would... I would <clears throat> I think maybe uh, it should by late March. It should cooperate at least some. Be nice if it maybe rained a little bit while, yes, it, while it was going the dust on. Yes, down out there. Yeah, it would. All right, so it's Easter weekend, and uh, you kind of knew the last time you were here when you were talking about getting registrations in that uh, that might affect the number of entries you have, and it kind of has. Huh? It has. Yeah, we're down a little bit from last year, but you know we've got almost 800 entries, but for each day, so it's not bad, but it's not as much as we had planned on or hoped for. So, and the judging will start at eight o'clock each morning. And if anybody's interested in a particular breed, they can go to Ana Frio's website and get a copy of the judging schedule. All right, and that's uh, www.anofrio.com. It's spelled O-N-O. F R I O dot com. O N O F R I O dot com. Again, this is coming up on the 29th, 30th, and 31st of this month. Not this weekend, but next weekend. And uh, a lot of people come and watch this, right? Yes, they do. And it's a good opportunity for the people to come. And if they're interested in a particular breed, to actually talk to the breeders get more personality on that particular breed and find out if it's a good match for their family lifestyle. Oh, well, okay, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, so they might say, hey, maybe we need to have one of these type dogs at the house, huh? Right, or maybe this wouldn't fit into our lifestyle. You know, there's yeah. some dogs that are a very active dog and then there's some that are couch potatoes, you know. Yeah. So, so you have to pick your breed for what your activities are. All right. Now, there's going to be uh, quite a few people from our region, right? Yes, there are. Um, usually, we have a big support from Colorado. Um, not so much eastern Nebraska, but Colorado, Kansas. We've had them from California. We've had them from Canada. So you never know where your entries are going to come from. All right. And when the people come here, uh, where do they stay? A lot of them are in RVs, is that right? Some of them drive RVs. A lot of them stay at the local hotels, both in Gearing and Scotts Bluff. So they, you know, have their <coughs> RV parking out there. But, you know, they go out to eat for at the restaurants or need to pick up groceries. Yeah, so, so. it's a big economic development thing for it us. It is. Okay. Uh, if people want to see the show, uh, what's the cost? It's uh, almost uh, almost free, not quite, but not almost. Not quite. It's $2 parking per car. So you can load the car up and get in and see the show for next to nothing. All right. Um, okay, you say the judging starts at 8, and the people can look on the website to see exactly when certain breeds are showing. Right. Are there any particular breeds that seem to draw the most, the biggest crowd? Usually your Labradors and your Golden Retrievers and your Dobermans are a big draw, and they have usually a bigger number of entries in those particular breeds. But we do have, we're going to have two Portuguese Padingo uh, dogs that have just been accepted into AKC's registry this year. Okay, so tell me what that, what does that dog look like? There's three different sizes varieties and the one that somebody in the valley owns is a smaller one and she's a smooth coated but they come in a smooth coat and a wire coat and they come in small medium and large like the poodles do all right and they've been accepted into the hound group oh okay all right so um this particular kennel show is uh part of kind of a uh entire mix of kennel shows that most of these people go to, right? Yes, it's it's considered a circuit show, and we um, have we are what is considered the thirteenth showing weekend of the year, so that's why we fluctuate between competing with Easter weekend and 
all of that because we can't change our weekends to suit the holidays and stuff. We're set in on the 13th showing weekend of the year. All right, and just happened to be Easter this year. Just happened to fall that way. Okay. All right, very good. So uh, uh, if people, uh, now registrations are all complete now. They're closed, yeah. We know our numbers and we know what breeds are going to be showing in. That's why they are already having the judging schedule set up so that, you know, the different breeds are showing at different times. All right. All right, now uh, uh, this particular uh, uh, show, when you, when you look at the uh, Westminster show and all that kind of stuff, you mentioned all these, uh, the 13th showing of, of the year. Um, how, when, when people are looking at this show and looking at those other shows, does it get people into the Westminster thing or anything oh, yes. like that? Yes, in fact, we may most likely have dogs that have competed at Yukonuba and Westminster at our shows. Oh, okay. So it's so you're going to have some pretty talented dogs so, and, yes, and their are. owners there. Mm -hmm. And they compete in uh, what type of categories again? Well, there's confirmation, which is for the structure and the breed standards. And then we also have rally and obedience competition. And the rally is kind of a relaxed obedience where they compete for titles. And the obedience is broken down into various categories for the different levels of competition that they're competing in. Okay. So uh, <clears throat> is there any particular... Uh, so the, would most people be interested in the obedience thing or the confirmation thing or...? You know, it depends upon their interests. The obedience is between you and the dog and how the dog and you perform. In confirmation is how your dog stands up to the standard of that particular breed. So it's two different types of judging. All right. And uh, the obedience judging, uh, they, uh, what are the dogs asked to do during that particular? They have, they have a schedule of exercises that they have to perform and they're scored on those performances on how they do say healing off leash on leash um, in open you have retrieves and high jumping and broad jumping and um, in utility you have scent control so I mean it's a variety of different exercises for each level that you're at and rally is the same way but it's a little more relaxed than obedience okay all right and this goes on every day till about seven eight o'clock well, not that late because not that late. the entries are lower. Um, each day is a separate show, so each day a dog can earn points towards its titles, either in obedience, rally, or confirmation. Okay. So, and they're shown under three different judges each day, and that's what donates donate it as a separate show each day. Okay, and then they get there's a, is there an overall award for? The entire there's, three days? No. There is each day there's a best in show and then there's also the reserve best in show which is a new category that AKC has come up with for confirmation. And then in obedience you have your high combined um, scores and that would be the top winner in the obedience classification. Okay. And there's also junior showmanship where the young kids are competing to start showing, you know, their dogs off. Yeah. That's good that the young kids get, kind of get involved and so forth, right? Well, it's, it's really considered a family sport. A lot of these kids that are showing in junior showmanship have parents that have started out showing in confirmation or obedience, and the kids are going along to the show, and then they go, you know, I'd like to try that too. So it is a family sport. Okay. Once again, it's uh, March 29th, March 30th, March 31st over at the uh, Scotts Bluff County Event Center and the Mitchell Fairgrounds. It's just $2 uh, per car to get in and watch. The judging starts at 8 o'clock. I know a lot of people attend, and so I just want to remind you to get on out there and put it on your calendar for Easter weekend. Also, I want to point out that we will have vendors there available selling pet equipment and different things that you not necessarily find around here and we do have food vendors out there so you can make a day of it all right very good 
Thanks, Suzanne. Good luck with it. Thank you.